In this video, we're talking about five trends in Yu-Gi-Oh! that happened in 2022 and what may happen in 2023. I think it'll be really fun to look back and analyze what sort of stuff happened in the game and what we can expect to also happen. We're already seeing some game-breaking cards being released in Cyberstorm Access and the continuation and the finale of the Outback storyline is happening. Maybe we'll get some new support for the future and new storylines. I'm looking forward to it. Keep watching to find out a summary of the trends in 2022 and maybe stuff you didn't expect that flew under the radar. Real quick though guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe so the YouTube algorithm sees us. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of January and I'll see you guys in the video. Coming off with a bang and it's the Alphaz and the Vice of Star First Law. These two guys over here carry the meta in 2022. We had the Tournament's Kit Kalos, Charles, Do Vice Star Frost. Then we had the Neo Jade Ice Blade Dragon terrorizing the meta with cards like Masquerade behind him. Charles to Outbad. What the storylines allowed for is a really exciting way of releasing new cards that honestly the art themselves is just astonishing and then when you get into this deep storyline really incredible and it's interesting to see how the creators at konami are creating cards now that we don't have an anime anymore and that's what i found interesting about 2022 i think in 2023 we're going to see something very similar because cyberstorm access is the first wave of new support for the next wave of booster packs and we're already seeing some crazy cards being printed some of those cards in cyberstorm access could take a whole video by themselves because they're just that insane and i'm curious in 2023 will we see a continuation of the the Albaz and Visa Star Frost lore, but will we also see a new storyline appear? We've seen the dual terminal the world legacy storyline and now the Albaz and the Vice of Starfrost storyline great way for the game to create new cards and just change the meta and how the game is played I think these two storylines are actually wrapping up now and you can see that in the new Albaz support card with the rising popularity of animes I think it's another reason why the storyline for Albaz and Vice of Starfrost have also taken off I think Konami have noticed just how much of an impact these storylines can have and how you have certain card arts that link different things together. It's really exciting to see what comes up next. It's almost like a cliffhanger every episode or I'd love to see a maybe a polymerization, a fusion of the two storylines we have right now mixed together. I feel like it could happen because Vsys is apparently a planet teleporter. Because we've just started the year, I want to know what Konami has up their sleeve because I think they are actually going to do some more storyline and it's probably what they're going to do going forward now that the animes have well stopped airing. Some other trends we saw were broken cards. I'm going to put this in its own category. I think we can all agree Terrellman has absolutely shaped and changed the way Yu-Gi-Oh! should be played now. I don't think Konami will be doing a level down. I think they'll be leveling up from here on out. And we can see that with the new cards in Sabso Access. Time Rending Morganite is a clear example of the new trends that they're sticking to in 2023. Of course, naturally in any game, power creep is going to keep happening. And we can see that Time Rending Morganite will absolutely change the way you guys going to be played. I think it's going to flip the whole game upside down. Are you serious? I think it's going to put a lot of fresh air on text that, you know, probably existed in the past that could not do well. Magical Musketeers. Yes, that's true. Magical Musketeers potentially ruin it. As well as decks that lose to hand traps which can now do their crazy FTK slash OTK combos. You know, other decks that rely on the normal summon. One sleeper deck, however, is pure adventure. I think with the draw two and the extra normal summon, we're going to see a lot of adventure decks with the spirit cards. Obviously, we've seen the Amano Iwato card used in adventure to basically lock out the opponent and not let them play the game. I think it might make a new deck come out with the adventure spirit monsters and it might be a cool new deck to try out as well something we see every year i think brings a lot of players back into the game is when a structure deck gets reloaded this is when a structure deck that was previously released gets a new boost of cards and gets a new fresh take on cards that previously existed with maybe an upgrade and i think this trend will continue in 2023 as far as what decks we might see i think everyone agrees that the dragons collide structure deck gonna get a retrain and personally i can't wait for that with the focus on chaos support recently with the Chaos Archfiend and Duality. I think it's pretty obvious what the OCG or TCG are trying to do. And I think we can see the structure deck coming soon, hopefully in 2023. If not, we have some really cool ones coming up next. We have the Realm of the Sea Emperor. And then we also have the really popular Fonsal of the Fire King structure deck, which, you know, hopefully in some crazy fire support, which we kind of don't have. And I've noticed that when I'm playing Rescue Ace. And then finally, my favorite structure deck, Invincible Fortress. I don't think this deck will be competitive, even if it's retrained, because just the playstyle of it is kind of dodgy. But I'd love to see a reload or retrain of this deck and if i'm not wrong we get three chances for a structure deck reload so let's see what 2023 has to bring we also got some insane cards for characters from the duelist kingdom series that the rest of the Yu-Gi-Oh anime we got issues cards, we got bandit thief cards we got marco the fisherman card what are we gonna get in 2023 well what we've already known is the gate guardian cards are obviously coming out but i want to know what other characters in the anime have not seen support and guys put in the comments down below who you think is gonna have some next i think the weevil underwood and the rex may be on the line next for new support cards because we have some insane insects
set cards coming up and I'd love to see that as well. Another way to bring players back in the game who used to watch the anime. Players generally did not enjoy the way banners were treated in the TCG. I'm hopeful in 2023 it's not the same. We are getting rid of a lot of more broken cards as time goes on. Of course Mystic Mind, the most hated card, the most loved card. Sometimes when it's resolved you love to see it. Sometimes you just want to rip your cardboard out and walk home. End of the day the card did eventually get banned and other cards similar to that power level like the Imperial Order. I'm curious what broken card that existed in Yu-Gi-Oh before will get banned now but it's cool to see what cards were hit in 2022 and what might get taken down. An example of a card that came back was obviously Change of Heart, a really fun one and something that you know you best can dust off and take out of their collection and maybe we'll get more cards like that in the future. I don't think we'll get anything more than like the Union Carrier but it's cool to think of what we could get and it was a really cool trend we saw in 2022. And that's been my five trends for 2022 which I think will follow suit and continue to level up or just continue to get crazier. We've seen some really insane stuff so far from the leaks of Cyberstorm Access and I don't think it's going to stop there. I think the hype train is going to continue. From what I've seen with Master Duel as well, a lot of people are actually looking at the game now. There's a lot of eyes on it. It's all up to Konami now. Let's see what they print. Let's see what they bring out. Let's see a nice conclusion to the Albaz and Vice storyline and maybe we'll get some insane support for old school characters from the anime and some nice cool structured decks. With that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. Comment down below what structured deck you want to see reloaded or retrained. There's not that many left, so it'll be cool to see what you guys think. And that being said guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.